Hello everyone, welcome back to Visual Basic .NET tutorials. Today we are talking about parameters and how to use the by val and by ref keywords. Before I talk about the parameters themselves, let's check this very simple examples. Uh, very simple example. We have two functions. Uh, the first function is test by val. It receives a parameter and uh, it, it uses the by val keyword. It sets the variable of the parameter into zero and uh, returns it back. The second one is test by ref where you get the variable set it to zero also and return the value. So they both work almost exactly the same. And you have two buttons the f uh, and they both are exactly the same as well. You get <coughs> you get uh, a variable here with value 100 and you pass it to the function then you display the variable not the result of the function okay so now let's go to the program here and let's run the program and see how it's gonna work now when I press this one I'm expecting to see the value 100 because I passed the variable and <coughs> the variable should not be affected when I press the second one I'm getting <coughs> I'm sorry I'm getting the value 0 okay so let's see what's happening although the code is the same the result is not the same so this is how it works when the program sees that there is a by val keyword uh, it understands that whenever you call the function it will place a copy an independent copy of this variable inside this variable n and so that uh, and so when you set the variable here to zero the original variable k is not being affected at all while when the uh, when you write by of keyword the computer understands that when you call the function it will link this variable k with this variable n in a way that whenever you change the value n here the variable k will change as well so the first one which is by value as we said before it is an independent variable because we are using the by val keyword we set n to 0 k is not affected at all so we get the value 100 while the second one we call the function and it is a by ref by ref as we can see here so when we set n to 0 the original variable which is k is set to 0 as well and so and this is why we are getting the value zero now let's uh, after we understand how this one works let's try to create a useful function okay one of the common operations that you need to do very often in programming is uh, swapping the value of a variable so here we are going to create a simple button and we are going to call it swap okay and so we are gonna create a function here swap function function swap and uh, by ref uh, v1 as integer and this one by ref v2 as integer this function is gonna do something very simple you it's uh, receive two numbers and swap them okay so it's gonna uh, it's gonna be done this way dimension uh, tmp as integer uh, tmp equal v1 v1 equal v2 and v2 equal tmp okay this is the function a very simple one now we are gonna test it uh, and one uh, dimension and one as integer dimension and two as integer and one equal on put box enter the first uh, uh, or enter and one and and two equal on put box enter and two gosh why did I use n1 v keyword there's no need for that and finally swap n1 and 2 and then msg box n1 and n1 msg box n2 and 2 so this is it 
we are going to read two numbers, call the swap function, and see if it's going to swap them. So now let's run the program. Okay, I press swap. The first number is 10, the second number is 20. You can see here, and 1 now is 20, and, and 2 is 10. Now, let's see what happens when I change the keyword and let's say I do some kind of mistake. I'm gonna use the by val here and use by val here. Okay? The, uh, just keep in mind that these three steps will swap the values over here. Okay? So now I'm running this one again. I press this one. I am entering 10. I'm entering 20. You can see the values are not swapped, and this is because uh, the the by uh, the parameters here should be by reference, so that the changes here, the swapping operations, or the effect of the swap operation could propagate back into the main function and change it. Okay. One other mistake, one of the many mistakes that other uh, people do is, for example, you do something like this is one parameter by reference and the other one is by value and this one will also uh, won't give you desirable result uh, this one will change one of the parameters but will not change the other so here we are going to enter 10 and we are entering a 20 you get the first value 20 the, the second value also 20 and the explanation of this is very simple the first one is by reference so when you change it swap the value the the first one is get, uh, is affected correctly the second one should be affected but we use the by by keyword which will prevent the program from setting the variable n2 here into the the new uh, uh, the, 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 the new result and so we are getting this kind of error however uh, the, uh, the this uh, this one shows you that you don't have to set all the parameters to by value or all the parameters to by reference you can do a combination and do whatever you like uh, or whatever is useful in your case so this was a very simple example about by value and by reference uh, i hope you'll find it useful next tutorial we will start working uh, with subroutines and uh, and test how to uh, to work with sort uh, to sort the number of values. Uh, if you would like to download the source files and uh, download the, uh, this tutorial in PDF format, check out the website uh, www.mk-soft.com. Uh, please uh, write this tutorial to improve it and make it better, and leave some comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for uh, watching this tutorial and have a nice day. Bye-bye.